guys. It's Terrence. I just wanted to talk to you about put a little love in it today. My wife and I had decided to do a lot of homeless and prison and even bar ministry uh, where we just go in these places. You say, why prison? Why, uh, why homeless shelters? Why battered women's shelters? Why all these things? I say, why not? I think everything that we should be doing as Christians should be led and directed by the, the Spirit of God. You know, whenever you drive by and your heart gets heavy and burdened over somebody you see that's in need, uh, that just needs some help, man, I say when you get heavy like that, it's time to it's time to give up something. It's time to give away something, to help somebody out, give a piece of yourself, even to open a door, to, to speak to somebody uh, randomly, stranger. I, I would do that. I know my wife would be like, no, she wouldn't. She actually does that all the time. She, Lisa is wonderful. We go out and our best friends are our, our waiters and waitresses at restaurants. Put a little love in it. I, I wrote that because, I mean, it's simple. It's just saying that the world is gray. It's gray and, and to put a little bit of color, a little bit of love in it, it will start to remove that gray, bland, uh, this way or that way. Uh, I just say we put more Jesus in the middle of it, more color, more love. Pick any subject you want. My response to that is Jesus. My response to that will always be Jesus. I think we need to talk about Jesus more. I think there's a deeper root issue than the leaves on the tree uh, that, that we uh, are going after. I think we need to talk about, and brag about, and share more of Jesus. With our enemies, with everybody, with the world, put a little love in it is an opportunity to challenge people just to say, man, you want to change the world? Put some love in it. Put some love in it. Open a door. Have a conversation with a stranger and truly care about what they have to say. So we happily, with excitement like crazy, are going out to homeless shelters. I was almost homeless. I made choices. I should have been. I should be homeless. I should not have a home. I should not have a car. My decisions were destroying my life. People make bad choices, but we have an opportunity to make a great choice and put some love in it and help people to walk into a prison, hear his story, tell him the truth, tell her the truth. Walk in a bar and find somebody trying to chase away their problems with a drink and really share some truth. I am fired up about this song, about this whole ministry about this whole thing. I can't wait to go into a prison. My dad was in prison. My dad gave his life to Christ because even though he was threatening the chaplain's life, that chaplain kept pouring into him. And I wish that I could find that man that hung in there with my father. Maybe one day I will. But I would hug him until he didn't have a, uh, a, a breath. And then I'd let him go because I don't want to kill him. I just want to hug him go into any place. And, and yes, I'll go in churches. I'll go in your home and do a concert. I, I don't care. I want to share the good news of the gospel. I want to share it all. I want to share my story, my transformation, my transparency. All right, guys. Thank you. Great day.